hello and welcome guys so in the last video we have constructed this uh, data pre-processing function okay this function will take uh, this entire data set directory and the number of classes which is present in this data set and it will construct and give us feature present in the data in the form of numpy array and the corresponding labels okay so we are getting this okay but one thing we have to modify in this function here we are extracting the chunk audio from this y numpy array so it's not y because here we are reading the this data in the form of uh, in this audio data variable and sampling rate in this okay so here we have to put audio data in place of y let me show you this uh, visualization on chunks so here we have done all this thing and we have copied this entire piece of code here in our final data preprocess function so here we are reading this uh, audio file in the form of y and sr and we are uh, we are extracting the chunk from this y okay by uh, calculating the start and end indices okay and we are clipping it from start to end okay so here we are uh, using this y but in our uh, final data preprocess function we have used this audio data variable and sampling rate so we have to uh, put here uh, audio data in place of this y okay so change this first and earlier we have executed this function and it is running fine why because it's using this y okay whatever we have done here it's using this y and it's every time it's clipping from that y okay so uh, we have to put this and we don't need to run this entire this top code okay from this video we'll continue from here because this is just to show you that how why we are doing these things okay so that's why to show you the visualization of audio and how this entire audio looks like and then we have chunk this audio and then uh, we have uh, plotted the Mary spectrogram of that entire audio and the chunks Mary spectrogram so these are some experiment which we have done before uh, constructing this final data preprocess function okay but from uh, now onwards we will continue from here okay whatever cell we will uh, whatever things we will create later we will execute uh, everything from here we, we will not do this thing it's a one-time process okay so let me start this so first i am executing this thing from here so i am importing all the required libraries and then I will execute this cell. So I got my data directory and class and this function will take data directory and the list of class. So we have changed this Y with this audio data. Okay, fine. Let's execute this. It will take some time. Okay, so here it's saying Y is not defined in this length of Y. Okay, so here also we have to change this to audio data. Okay all y is whatever present in this function you have to change with this audio data okay because here we are reading this uh, all the files in the form of this in this variable audio data so whatever computation we are performing is on audio data not on y okay we don't have any y in this function okay so let's execute this Okay, so we have successfully completed this uh, load and data preprocess, preprocessing of data. Let me show you exactly how our data and levels looks like. What is the shape of this? So the shape is 14,975. So this is the actual shape which we will get after computing this uh, load and data preprocess function. Okay, now uh, we will start our model building but before that uh, we have to convert this labels into one hot encoded form so that in future once we start our training we will not face any issue okay so i will import one library here from tensorflow dot keras dot utils i will import to categorical okay i will use this and i will convert my labels numpy array to one hot encoded form so i will use this two categorical and in this i will pass my labels and second thing i will pass which is number of classes okay and it will take length of classes this list length of this class list it will take 
so we will pass here length of class list and we'll close this okay so let's run this and here we'll write here labels okay and let me give here comment that what we are doing we are converting labels to one hot encoding okay let me execute this so we will we will get something like this whatever class present in the label like if it is zeroth class if it is first class then this will become one and rest will become zero and if it is second then it will become uh, one second entry will become one and rest will be zero like this it will work okay so for all training examples we'll get this uh, matrix in the form of one hot encoding if i show you the shape of this label dot shape we'll get this shape 14975 cross 10 okay for each training example one entry will be one and rest all nine entries will be because here we have 10 class so all nine entries will be zero and one entry in which like that training example belongs to which class that training uh, that entry will be one and rest will be zero okay that is the one hot encoding okay now we'll start our uh, building model but before that here we have this entire data this entire data 14975 but later we also have to evaluate our model so we have to split this data okay so first we have to perform the splitting of data set into training and test set okay we are interested in evaluating our model and monitoring our model whether our model is performing good or not so we need test set also okay we can't uh, directly feed the entire information so i will use scikit-learn if you don't have this library then just go here and search for install scikit-learn you will get this and this this from here uh, you have to copy this command and you, you can install by using this pip install scikit-learn okay just come here and before this cell put exclamation mark and write here uh, this thing pip install scikit-learn execute this cell it will install the scikit-learn in your corresponding environment in which you are working like here i am working in tensorflow environment so in this environment it will install your scikit-learn okay so i am not doing this because i have scikit-learn so you have to do here from scikit-learn dot model selection class you have to use press tab you will get here model selection and from model selection you have to import train test split okay train test split this thing okay and it will split the data set in the form of tra uh, training set and test set so you have to define some variable also which will capture those information so x text x train x test and y train and y test okay x train x test x train and test y train and test okay and you have to pass this train test split and it will accept first argument as your data which is your numpy area here this 14975 shape data and, and second argument it will take your labels and uh, because uh, this data will go in this x train and test and this labels will go in a y train and y test okay that's why we have to pass x and y that is your data and label okay and third argument will go as test size we have to pass that how much test size you want to put okay so i am putting here 0.2 it means that 80 percent of this data will go in training set and 20 percent will go in this test set okay and here random state i am putting some value so that it will like randomly it will take uh, some part of uh, data in training set and test set so if i put this random state as uh, 42 or something then it will execute it will take in the same pattern if we run this cell again okay so that's why i am putting here so let me execute this cell so we have successfully completed this if i show you the shape of this you will see this is the my training set and if i show you the test set 
this is our test set and if i show you the y train so for this 11980 training example you will get 11980 corresponding labels okay same for y test also okay so for this uh, 2 2995 test example you will get 2995 corresponding labels also okay so so we successfully created our training set and test set now we are ready to start building our model okay so i will give here one markdown as building model so from here we'll start building our model and i am clearing this cell we don't need this okay we got our uh, this x train y train x test y test that is enough okay okay so that's all for this video we will meet in next video and in next video we will build this model okay thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video